All right, Saturday morning, we're gonna to try to get this thing painted today. Uh, you saw the priming video from last night, got it all primed up. And so we're gonna block this out. Uh, I'm gonna try 220 on a DA and uh, knock it down and then come back with 320 and uh, 400 on a hand block. And then we're gonna seal it with some urethane sealer. But uh, before we get to doing that, while we're letting that stuff finish setting up, I'm gonna uh, kind of detail out the back of this thing. It's got some, you know, really minor, uh, you know, rust coming through on it, but really nothing like some of the really bad areas on the top and front and all. Uh, seems to be in pretty good shape overall, so just more dingy than anything. So I'm gonna clean this up with some uh, Scotch-Brite and then uh, mask everything off and throw some, uh, just some rattle can uh, satin black on it and uh, go from there. All right, well, we got everything uh, blocked out and uh, down to 320, we're gonna go over it with 400 because we're gonna seal this whole thing. Uh, in white because the first layer of paint is going to be white so I figured that would uh, make it easy and I've got a, about a half a gallon of white sealer so it's all uh, all good. Uh, had a couple just a spot there that was low that wouldn't block out everywhere else blocked out good uh, even though you know the panels got some waves and stuff with it um, on this thing both of the edges all the way down kind of have a you know as it as it comes to the edge it kind of rolls up and out like that so um, and then there was one spot there's like four dents I got the one the two right here and filled those earlier but the there was three more down here that I didn't know were there until uh, I walked across it and boom they showed up so uh, we'll keep moving ahead hopefully we can get some paint on it here in a little bit all right well we got everything all prepped up got our last little uh, body work areas those are pretty good uh, as you can see by this evidence there there is a dent right there and we, we got it filled in, you know, it's okay. Uh, but there's something a little bit funky about it, but it's at the very bottom of the refrigerator. So I'm gonna leave it. If I, if I have to keep, you know, putting this on there to try to fix that, um, you know, I'm gonna have to be back doing primer work again and I don't wanna have to prime it again. So um, we're just gonna go with it. Hopefully that doesn't show up too much, but it's at the bottom, hopefully it'll be fine. Anyway, we're, uh, Getting all set here, um, we've got a few bare metal spots and the body fuel showing through, so we got a little bit of epoxy mixed up. And um, we've got, gonna use that gun to just hit the touch up spots uh, for bare metal. And then I got this detail gun to do some of the detail spray work on the paint job, uh, a couple of little fades that we're gonna try. And then uh, this to do uh, the main areas, we're gonna spray urethane sealer over the whole thing first and uh, after the epoxy. So uh, we'll come back and show you as we uh, make progress. We may, uh, you know, video some of the uh, painting, but may not, you know, you guys have seen me paint and um, I know that stuff gets old. So uh, probably just give you some updates, show you what we're doing, show you the layout on the design and go from there. All right, we got the sealer on and we got one coat of uh, some cream white, uh, ivory white, whatever you call it. And we got some pearl sprayed on top of that. And I uh, started to lay out our design here for the next two colors that we're gonna use. And uh, I don't know, just kind of messing around here a little bit. Uh, trying to kind of come up with a theme, you know, kind of a 50s style, uh, you know, and even today, like the, a lot of the lowriders use with a lot of the fades and scallops and various, uh, you know, graphic designs. So trying to come up with something like that and just using the uh, yellow tape to get the right spacing uh, on lines and stuff. You can see this is not exactly straight uh, here. So, uh, but hopefully when it's all together, you won't be able to tell it too much. And uh, because of the fact that it's not perfectly straight, it might look more like it was hand pin striped on there. So we'll see. All right, here we go. All right, spent quite a bit of time laying out the uh, lines and graphics. 
graphics and stuff. Uh, just looked online, found a few ideas I liked, and picked a couple and went with it. And uh, so I laid down a couple of coats of this dark gold color that we had <clears throat> left over from the uh, trailer project, uh, which was basically just a mix of a whole bunch of different uh, colors that we had. And then, uh, so I wanted to get a ground coat on top of the white. And then, uh, for one of the main colors, we're using this uh, the Shimmerin 2 uh, House of Color candy base coat. And this is Pagan Gold Candy. It is a base coat, but it's, uh, you know, they, they mix it with all the formulas and stuff that they used to make the real candy with, but it's, it's base coat. You can see it's quite translucent. So, uh, hopefully I got enough paint here. One quart mixed two to one. Hopefully it'll be enough to get all this covered. So, uh, we're going to get this on and uh, come back and show you what that looks like. Alright, well, it's uh, like 4 a.m. still working on this thing. 4 a.m. Sunday morning started on Saturday, really Saturday morning. So it was just one of those deals that gets away from me. Uh, made a mistake. Uh, the last thing I think I showed was we were about to spray the pagan candy gold, and um, the mistake was uh, that um, the. Uh, that ground coat I sprayed on, um, you know, I didn't get a solid coat. I thought I was just, you know, putting a little on there to get it going and, um, you know, get a goldish color. Didn't need a good solid coat, just, just something to get it started. But as it turns out, that pagan gold was very translucent. So it basically showed uh, a tremendous amount of modeling underneath it. So um, yeah, it did look like crap. And I didn't have enough of the candy base to, keep covering it, you know, uh, to layer it on there to, to get it covered up. I can only put two coats on there. So, uh, anyway, um, so we're now putting the uh, candy tangerine, which is this color, on, and uh, some of the graphic layout stuff that we did. So, anyway, we'll see how it all looks when we get it done. Come back and show you once we get it all sprayed and unmasked. All right, well, I got a little carried away, and uh, you know how it is when you're trying to make a video and you start running into problems with what you're working on, you kind of start abandoning the video and focusing more on the problem. And uh, so we had our fair share of problems and on this, and the colors, you know, don't look anywhere near what I wanted them to be. My mistake really was uh, using that, you know, trying to use a ground coat. Um, and this, you know, candy base coat is basically candy. I mean, it is... When I was thinking base coat, I was thinking, you know, something fairly opaque and, you know, that would just cover anything. And it is, it is about as translucent as regular candy. In fact, it may be more translucent than the, the other candy I sprayed. Uh, so whatever base you put down, whatever, you know, it looks like, and even the color of it even uh, is being affected in the final product because this pute green here is nothing like what you know pagan gold is supposed to look like so i really screwed up i should have created a test panel just something small to get a look at what the colors would look like together but i guess in a way since this is just an old fridge that i picked off off, off craigslist for 150 bucks and it needed something on the outside of it i guess in a way this is a, just a big test panel but it is uh, certainly a good learning experience and you know where i put anything like this on uh anything else it'll get lots of test panels so Anyway, I know uh, Slow SRT, uh, I don't think he really likes the front of this too much based on some comments, but uh, he did say he liked the sides of it. I do kind of like the sides. I think those are those are cool. And this is a, just a design I found online and tried to copy. And uh, I don't even know what it is of. Some people th say it's, it looks like Iron Man. But uh, anyway, got it wrapped up. Going to get it put back together and get it put to use actually use it so uh all right guys that's it uh that's a wrap we'll uh appreciate all the help all the comments and uh we'll see you soon